How's it going guys? In this video, we're going to be talking about how Kevzara may be one treatment that can help save the lives of people infected with the coronavirus. And when your cells have been first exposed to the coronavirus, your immune system starts secreting stuff referred to as IL-6 or interleukin-6. And interleukin-6 is basically this distress signal that when it comes into contact with other immune cells, if this is one of your immune cells, is going to make this immune cell start secreting even more IL-6. And so what happens in extreme cases of the coronavirus in which patients begin to develop acute respiratory distress syndrome or ARDS is that their bodies become so full of these stress signals, these alarm signals, that their airways begin to close and in addition to that in their lungs, in the alveoli, you get these fluid buildups that result in more resistance to the gas exchange that needs to happen in order to keep people alive. And so after you've been exposed and infected by the coronavirus, the big problem here is that you're basically, your body is just throwing off all these alarm signals and everything is complete chaos. And so you're having a hard time breathing. And in addition to that, you know, the abundance of all of these alarm signals in your bloodstream basically ruins all of the other communications that need to be happening inside of your body in order to help you function normally. And so if we were to zoom in on like one immune cell and what happens when interleukin-6 binds to it is that there is a specific receptor on the surface of these immune cells where interleukin-6 will bind to and then after this binding event occurs this cell is now activated and it recognizes that it needs to generate and secrete more IL-6. So what Kevzara is, and it's being currently developed and tested right now by Regeneron as well as Sanofi, is Kevzara is this thing that will, it's called an antibody, and it's a functionalized antibody that basically will stick onto the same receptor sites onto these immune cells where IL-6 previously would have bound to. And when it does this, it basically inhibits, it competes with the interleukin-6 for these same spots and the consequence of doing this is that with people who are experiencing ARDS, they're on the ventilators, they've got all this inflammation, they've got skyrocketing levels of interleukin-6 in their body, by giving them Kevzara, the hope is that Kevzara, this antibody, can stick onto these sites and block additional IL-6 from being secreted by these immune cells. and what this will do is it basically helps reduce the inflammation. So as your airway is closing down, as you're losing the ability to breathe, as you're becoming hypoxic, as you're on a ventilator, in very extreme cases, what Kevzara is doing is basically telling your immune system to just relax and let things get back to a normal baseline. And so what some early studies have shown us is that the administration of Kevzara to patients who are experiencing these high fevers and ARDS is that it has helped reduce the fevers as well as get people off ventilators which is good news because it means that they are no longer as in such critical condition and we're basically giving your body another chance to beat the coronavirus and these are people who otherwise would basically die. So similar to remdesivir where this is kind of a, a very um, severe or it's a very big intervention into patients but this drug will hopefully be able to buy your body enough time to get back on its feet to reestablish order and beat the coronavirus because the main reason that so many people right now are dying from the coronavirus has to do with acute respiratory distress syndrome in which you have just got this cytokine storm and you've got tons of IL-6 present in you and because of this your body is so inflamed and your organs are no longer able to maintain their normal functions that you're gonna die if we don't do anything else. So Kevzara might be one treatment that will help us. And so I hope that this video helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Please stay safe and wash your hands and I'll talk to you next time.